Now it's time to lay the lights down. We're going to start at this point here and run the gutter line to the other side. Our next step would be to come to this line and center the line so there is a ball directly at the peak and work backwards off of the peak so that we have perfect symmetry. Then we would chase our fire and connect our different points that we have outlined with power cord. Then we would inspect and make sure all the bulbs work and nothing has failed. The end result will look like this. In this case, the power came up from this side and plugged in right there. It moves down the ridge line or the gutter line to this point. There are two plug outlets, two female plugs here that run an extension cord to this tree and run a short extension cord up to this section. Then this section dead ends and is finished there and we come over to this side where there's an extension cord from an inline female that comes to here. The cord then goes up and down and right about here we have an inline female that runs in a small extension cord to this line whereas the power comes up and down running the whole system. Then we've brought power to this garland by running power off of the lights with an inline female somewhere behind that gutter mark and down to here and powered up the garland. And of course, the tree was lit up from this side. In some cases, the garland may be powered by another outlet, but this would then mean that we would have two timers which could get out of sync. We can't forget the wreath. The wreath is hung with a nail or screw somewhere up in this area, and then it is wired on so the wind cannot blow it off. There is an inline female attached to one of the two sides of the peak there, and a small extension cord comes down to power up that reef. 